Now, Paul Bunyan is staying in Ann Arbor with the 49 nothing win Saturday. Michigan keeps the trophy and the number two spot in the AP poll. As Joel Sebastianelli reports, the Wolverines responded to a tumultuous week off the field with an emphatic statement on it. The buildup to Michigan, Michigan State featured a lot of talk about just about everything except the game on Saturday night. But the refrain from Michigan players all season long has been to keep the main thing the main thing. The main takeaway from this game is that the Wolverines played their most complete game of this season. They wanted to just talk about uh, the game, the preparation, the practice, and, and uh, get ready to play and execute. Uh, and I thought they played their best. And they were real buzzsaw. Sunday is the NFL's National Tight Ends Day. Michigan got the celebration started a little early. Colston Loveland caught two touchdowns. A.J. Barner set career highs in yards and receptions. The game plan wasn't really <laughs> like targeting them or anything. It just happened naturally, and, you know, that's the most beautiful thing that I could uh, play out. The time came today, and it was just uh, happened to be in open in his reads, and he just put the ball where it needed to be, and... Yeah, I mean, it happens all the time in practice, so, it, it, you know, it's bound to happen sometime. February, March, April, it would be 8.30 at night, and we might go up there and get jugs. And I think that's just, like, our, our connection is just we just feed off each other, and we both want to see each other succeed. This is the biggest rivalry beatdown since Michigan's 55-0 win in 1947. The final dagger was set up by a Jaden McBurrows pick. The juniors worked his way up to second nickel, getting revenge on field for last season's tunnel assault. A wide range of emotions, you know, I, I was very excited for that man. He's been through a lot here, you know, so like, because freshman year he tore his ACL early on. Like it looked like he wanted to cry tears of joy, but you know, he held it in. But you know, when you, when you see that look in his eyes, I knew, I know how he felt. Um, I felt it too. Um, he mentioned what happened last year a couple different times. We told him, man, like, when you get your chances, go out there, make the plays, and I'm, I'm proud of him. That's like my little brother right there. Mikey Sander stills pick six was the Wolverines' fourth defensive score. They've only allowed 47 points through eight games. Now opponents will only get tougher. Penn State and Ohio State loom after the off week, and scrutiny will get tougher for how the Wolverines go about their business. But anyone with anything to say about all that was long gone before the fourth quarter. Again. When you're at a away game and you hear the crowd cheering "Go Blue" and all that, there's nothing, there's nothing better. Got a little saying around here that uh, says, "What you do speak so loudly, we can't even hear what you're saying." You know, there's been attempts to diminish the team on, in a lot of ways. Too easy to schedule. These guys aren't, these guys aren't aren't very good. That kind of thing. Um, you know, they just play. Uh, we'll get on to the next one and move on with humble hearts. But uh, it's a heck of a group, and I can just congratulate them. At Spartan Stadium, Joel Sebastianelli, BCSN.